Quite different from AMRAM is the U.S. Navy's Harpoon missile. Designated RGM-84A, the Harpoon is really a miniature aircraft powered by a turbojet engine. Complete with a tandem rocket booster that shoots it out of its canister or tube launcher, Harpoon weighs just over 1,500 pounds. It was developed by McDonnell Douglas to meet a U.S. Navy need for a precision weapon with over-the-horizon range, able to be used day or night in any kind of weather. Harpoon can be fired from surface warships. It can be fired from submarines. In the AGM-84 version, it can even be dropped from aircraft. The missile drops down very close to the wave tops and, controlled by a radar altimeter, skims just above the surface. Near the target, it switches on an active search radar. It has waypoint capability, enabling it to change course during flight. This also enables it to approach the target from any chosen bearing line. From one launch platform, two missiles can be fired, which will then approach the same target from different directions. Harpoon can even be programmed to fly around an intervening landmass. In the final seconds of its approach, Harpoon can execute a pop-up maneuver and dive on the target from above, or carry out evasive action to defeat the target's defenses. It is now deployed from a wide variety of U.S. naval ships, ranging from battleships to patrol craft, and is in service with 15 other navies. The French equivalent of the Harpoon is the Exocet. Produced by Aerospatiale, this missile became notorious during the Falklands campaign, when several British ships were crippled by the air-launched version. There are also shipborne and submarine-launched models. Exocet is rocket-propelled and has a range of 26 miles. At launch, the missile curves up and around onto the desired target heading. It then descends until it is just above the sea, kept on course by an inertial guidance platform and a radar altimeter. When the target is only about six miles away, the active radar in the nose is switched on. This starts sweeping a radar arc ahead looking for the target. When it finds the target, it locks on and steers the missile to hit it at the optimum height above the waterline. MM-40 is an exocet with a bigger motor, providing slightly longer range. AM-39 is the air-launched version, of which over 100 were fired by Iraqis during Desert Storm. And SM-39 is a submarine-launched version, fired in a special container from the sub's torpedo tubes. We the British Aerospace Seawolf can outperform any other close-range air defense missile. It has repeatedly demonstrated its ability to destroy not only all kinds of aircraft, but also small supersonic missiles and even shells fired from a 4.5-inch gun. A rapid rate of fire can be sustained. The original installations using this six-box launcher. The Seawolf was battle-proven in the Falklands campaign in 1982. A later version of Seawolf uses a four-barrel launcher weighing two and a half tons. A much more important development, reflecting early Soviet designs, is the vertical launch Seawolf, a system with groups of eight missiles sealed into vertical canisters. The U.S. Navy has also adopted the vertical launch version, but only as part of the large and complex Aegis system. This system is installed in the Ticonderoga class of large missile cruisers. It is designated to serve as the Navy's chief air defense system for the period up to at least the year 2010. It is designed for automatic destruction of aircraft, cruise missiles, and missile launcher platforms. Aegis was initially tested against such targets as the QF-4B Phantom, 
the BQM-34 Firebee and the QF-86 Sabre. The Aegis system has naturally been designed to function in an environment enduring severe electronic countermeasures. The system is based around the General Dynamics standard SM-2 missile. This is fired by a large tandem rocket booster and then uses an internal rocket sustainer to reach targets out to about 34 miles. Missile, Missiles not only operate from great heights, but also from deep beneath the sea. This is the world of the Fleet Ballistic Missile Submarine. Subs deployed in 1960 carry the now primitive Polaris Ballistic Missile. It has since progressed through the Poseidon Missile to today's Trident C4 and much bigger Trident D5. Both versions of Trident are more compact than their predecessors and can make full use of the space in the submarine launch tube. Trident C4 has a range of about 4,600 miles. The D5, a range of 7,500 miles. All these missiles carry multiple independently targeted warheads. At first glance, this might look like a submarine-launched ballistic missile. But in fact, it unfolds wings, a tail, and an air inlet for a turbofan engine. It is the submarine-launched version of the Tomahawk cruise missile, designated the BGM-109. Launched inside a stainless steel capsule from a normal torpedo tube, Tomahawk converts itself into a miniature unpiloted bomber. It can fly several hundred miles, using a modified version of the Harpoon Guidance Radar to sweep out the sea ahead, detect targets, pick out the most important, and home on it with deadly accuracy. There are many versions of Tomahawk. BGM-109 can also be fired from surface warships, usually from an armored box launcher. The tactical land attack version can be fired from surface ships or submarines. This version has terrain comparison guidance which measures the gradient profiles of the land over which it is flying. The resulting accuracy is about 230 feet from the target after flying 800 miles, the full range being 1,550 miles. Each missile flies at about 550 miles per hour, but is so small that it is difficult to detect and almost impossible to shoot down. The tactical land attack version can carry various warheads. This missile is distributing multiple bombers. An alternative is a single so-called unitary warhead, which can be conventional or nuclear. We will return in a moment. Begun in the mid-1980s and originally called the MX, the Peacekeeper missile is now designated MGM-118. Assembly takes place at the Martin Marietta Company. Each missile is just over 70 feet long and weighs 195,000 pounds. It can deliver 10 independently targeted warheads from up to 5,000 miles away. After much argument, Congress permitted the deployment of 50 peacekeepers, and these have been installed in rebuilt silos which previously housed Minuteman missiles. It is also possible that some will be based on railway trains, an idea originally suggested for Minuteman in 1959 but never put into effect. Although it fires relatively simple unguided rockets, the MLRS, or Multiple Launch Rocket System, 